Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Just a quick one. We really appreciate uh, Miss Sharon or Madam Sharon for the feedback. You know, she we really appreciate. Thanks a lot for your comment. She said, You always talk from both sides of your mouth, no direction. Go and join Pascal Yang so that you can get a good vision of what is happening in Abuja. He said the floor is open for anyone that is to join the fight or rather champion a protest for this UAG issue. Than others, then others who follow. Your broadcast most times does not doesn't make sense. Now, in UAG at the beginning, there was verification. The organiz every organization have organogram every organization have job description and every organization have hierarchy for example now we can't just storm nigeria without going through embassy check what i'm trying to say is that we have paid money to some people to do the work of organizing for us you don't expect beneficiaries to champion the administrative part now if you say we should go and fight where should we start from we don't know how they source for the grant we don't know anything all we think we knew is they came up one day and called us to donate money for a cause the government committee they know if there is any so everything they know so why are we in my place when you were not around when a funeral is carried when there was a funeral when they start assuming the cops you stay clear so that you not start assuming from the leg from the beginning what we were told donate money we will give you grants and they shared the money ken said he's going to collect logistic money ngo will collect ceo will collect according to at the beginning ngo will collect 20 million CEO or whatever, they will collect 20 million. Why beneficiaries will collect 3 million or 5 million? Why sharing the money according to hierarchy? Because there is description of job. They are collecting more money because they are the ones that does more work. You now tell us that we have donated money for you to do the work. We should still come and do the work. We gave you money to give us grants. Then you did not give us grant. You are not saying we should come and fight for the grant. It doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense. I really appreciate Mrs. Sharon for telling us this story. Now, for you to tell us to protest is not a good thing. Protesting means that there is a problem. You don't tell us. I hope you people are understanding what I'm trying to say. You don't tell us to come to Abuja to source for the money. Whereas we don't even know where to source for you people are the ones who have delegated and you people are the ones who have been paying money to so why should we come to abuja to to now help you to do your job which means there's a problem if you can't do the job when you are in abuja we come in how do you expect us to do the job when at the beginning we have funded you we paid for your hotel we paid for your transport we paid everything then now you told us that you cannot deliver we should come and do it ourselves what happens in our country where the executive legislative arm tell us okay come and run your country yourself there will be anarchy, anarchy. so what pascal Anyang said is not what a leader should say and he's saying at the end of his broadcast that those that want to support they are still seeking for money you know so miss sharon i really appreciate what you said but what we're saying is that the needful should be done we have delegated you as a leader to do the needful you don't need to now tell us to come and do the work of a leader for you which you have been delegated to do you know so that v note pascal will give it's really not it and it shows that there is a problem now even ken have not even come to address the masses he's the country director the box stops on his table what is it what is he doing give us feedback if there is money tell us if there is no money tell us you are even telling us to come to abuja when you are not even sure 
if there is money. You don't even know the identity of the government committee. You don't even know where the document is. You don't even know who the donor is. You don't even know the duration in which the grant is going to expire. You don't even know how much is the grant. So what are we coming to do when you, as a leader, don't even know what you are doing? So what we are doing is to agitate and push you to do what you're supposed to do. So for me, these people are not telling us the truth. I am not speaking from both sides of the mouth. I am being consistent. You don't expect me. I came to Grand Community because I needed money. Now, I should come to Abuja. To who? To who will I go to Abuja to do? And what will I go to Abuja to do? When I don't even know. The, the Grand doesn't even have any agency attached to it. Who is he attached to? Presidency. Where is the document? Presidency. What is the name of name of the, the donor presidency? What what do they so they are not telling us the truth. They are keeping things vague for us. They are making things difficult for us. They don't want to move forward and they don't want us to push them to move forward. They are shifting the responsibility to another person. So Madam Sharon, they are playing us. And a lot of beneficiaries are gullible. And because of that, they are being played. Me, I'm not gullible. I know that Ken is a scam. If he's not a scam, let him come and voice out what is happening. All grant handlers are scam. If they are not scam, let them disburse. For how many years would they continue to play? Now, um, what is it called? Supreme was doing registration. Somebody said that his registration of uh, RNH or whatever, whichever registration they are doing, what are they registering for? So what I'm trying to say is that the beneficiaries who have been gullible and it's high time we stop. It's high time we stop. If all of us go to Abuja, which direction are we facing? Where are we going to? He said you should come to Abuja to fight. Fight what? We did verification. Because you people told us you people have a direction. We paid money for verification. When we are paying money for verification, you did not tell we are going to fight. When we are paying every now and then, you collected 100,000, you were giving us feedback of what you are doing. You didn't tell us that at the end, we will come to fight for our money. So, Miss Sharon, these people are playing. They are playing with us. And if you don't take time, they will continue to play with us, except you stand your ground, stop giving them money, and tell them to the face, you people are deceiving us. That is just the honest truth. Then giving them excuses. Giving them excuses. So, Miss uh, Madam Sharon, that is my own response to this. I'm not speaking from both sides of the mouth. What I'm saying is that Ken is deceiving us, letting him come out point blank and tell us what is going on. Then all the grant handlers, if they are not deceiving us, let them disburse. Let them disburse. How long will we wait for disbursement? How long will we continue doing come today, come tomorrow? How long are we going to be lied to? You lied to us for two years, three years, four years. We are justified not to believe you. We are justified to call you scam. So that's it, uh, Madam Sharon. Thanks a lot for your updates. See you on the other side. Let's be wise with these people. Bye.